The Aggie flags were waving. Utah State feeling pretty good having won two straight conference games, one being at Colorado State. But UNLV has the league's second best defense, third best offense, and the Rebs coming off two straight impressive home wins. Nip and tuck first half with the lead changing hands 13 times. Rebels game plan was to attack the basket, and that's what they did. Derek Jones with 12 first half points. But UNLV trailed 36-35 at the break. Our first half wasn't our best effort. Our cuts weren't hard. More importantly is I like the way we responded to it because the guys started to figure out themselves. After a sluggish first half, the Rebels really turned it up in that second half. They jumped out to an 18-point lead at one time. Five Rebels finished in double figures. Rebels go to work with nine layups in the final 20. They hit four three-pointers. Jordan Cornish, corner three, gives UNLV a 16-point lead. Their largest was 18. The second half, I loved. We came out a little angry, a little foaming at the mouth, and, and picked that pressure back up. And, and that's how we're going to play. So we can get those little stretches, those little runs where we get up and down, start hitting open three and transition and stuff at the rim were really hard to stop. Jones and Dwayne Morgan went on the attack and they combined for 34 points. UNLV 46 points in the paint. Even the Yagi Stormtroopers were in awe. The coaching staff did a good job with the game plan, told us everything we needed to know, how they guarded, you know, the percentages in the paint, and, you know, we wanted to take advantage of it. They flipped the switch with 23 fast break points. After that 18 point lead, UNLV digs in, didn't allow the Yaggies to get closer than eight, and UNLV ends up winning by 12, 80 to 68. That's now three in a row for the Rebs. It's a, it was a big game for us because, I mean, we went through a little slump, but we back. And we, had to, we had to get the job done, and we did. It nearly was a picture-perfect second half for UNLV as they pick up their first conference road win of the season. Probably the only negative of the night. Following the game, the Rebels had to jump on a bus and travel through rain, sleet, and snow to get back here to Salt Lake City. And then this morning, they left for Las Vegas. Reporting from Salt Lake, Chris Matthews, 8 Sports Now.